Yes, be be good. We have a pre-season game coming up. <laughs> right, it was hilarious. That's good, wasn't it? Yeah. Right, it took years of practice. <laughs> Jack Wilsh of the Arsene Wenger. And I was just saying to him, like, come on, make it up. And he was like, who are you talking to? Like, who, who are you? <laughs> My mum's side of the family, they're all Tottenham. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, all Tottenham. And I grew up getting so much stick. So, no, I don't regret <laughs> This is the four hole challenge. We're down here at the Shire Golf Course, and I've been joined by a man we've been trying to get on since we started the channel two and a half years ago. It's Super Jack Wilshire. How are you, mate? Tubes, I'm very good, thanks, mate. Good, good. Thanks so much for joining us. Oh, thanks for having me. Yeah, well, uh, golfing-wise, what's your handicap? I'm an 18, but should probably be 20. Yeah? But I'll play 18. So, similar to me, so... No, you're a 16. <laughs> <laughs> you're a bandit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to go off. Let's have the same shots. Keep yeah. it friendly, yeah? Yeah, yeah, of course. All right, cool. Right, you up first? No, you are first. Oh, I'm up first. Right, before we get crack on, just want to say a massive, massive thank you to Function18 for sponsoring this video. Guys, check them out. Unbelievable website. The link is down below. Thank you very much, Function18. Right, Jack, well, I've been told, pick a little uh, thing in front of me. You've been having lessons as well, haven't you? Changed my game, mate. <laughs> Changed for the worst, I think. <laughs> Isn't it so weird when they change your grip oh, and everything? You can't do anything. Like, I've been playing for 12 years one way, and he comes in one day, 10 minutes, says, nah, you're wrong. It, you're wrong. It. <laughs> right, here we go. Oh, that's what keeps happening. We go right. You're on the fairway, Not bad, mate. though. Yeah, we're all right. I just told you, tubes, I don't normally drive, mate. But here goes nothing. Oh, I'm with you. Okay. <laughs> Followed Friendly. you. Friendly golf. Oh. Next to each other. I don't think I'm as long as you. Social. So Jack, once again, mate, thanks so much for joining thanks me. Thanks for having me, mate. Um, how long have you been playing for? We just said 12 years. Yeah, probably longer, actually. I started when I was about seven. My uh, my dad's dad, we used to call him Grambo. Yeah. Granddad and Rambo, because he used to do everything. Love it. Um, he used to take me, he took me for lessons. I was about seven. Yeah. And I've played ever since. I mean, I've had, you know what it's like, you get like spells where you're on it and you're playing every week and then I, I suppose I didn't play for like six months. But at a minute I'm on it, so. But as a footballer, I mean, you do get quite a lot of time, but is it like, in, do you think about it after training, you go, right, let's go and play a game of golf or is it just like? You know what, man, I've got four kids. I was gonna say. So, yeah, you know what? When the kids were young, it's more difficult because you you feel bad for the missus, don't you? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Probably why I'm single. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but now they're a little bit older, like they're at school and nursery, so like, I try and time it when they're there. Yeah. So um, when I'm when I'm home, they're home. But bit of the kids around your golf. Yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> love it. Proper golf life. Yeah. Jack, let's take it right back. Um, you came through the Arsenal uh, youth system, wonder kid. What was it like going through the system, and at what age did you realise that you were a special talent? You know what, mate? I was lucky to come through an academy like that because they had everything. You know I mean, we were spoiled. Yeah. And, you, and you took it for granted. You hear about players' stories like your Vardy's and stuff like that. There is another way through, but I was very lucky and very fortunate to be in an academy like that. And, mate, it was unbelievable. Like, and you, you, at the time, you didn't, I didn't, you know, I felt pressure, but now looking back, it, mate, we were. I was training for Arsenal three days a week. I mean, I was finishing school, getting in my dad's red van and just going up the road to to Hale End to train. And, mate, it was unreal, honestly, it was unreal. And, yeah, I, I probably didn't 
No, I didn't know I was I was better than anyone. I didn't really feel like I was better than anyone else there. I mean, I used to work hard. I used to enjoy it. Um, but no, nah, I don't know. Maybe when I was 15 and I got, I was playing with the 18s. Steve Bowl was the manager and I was in the under 18 team. I was the only one. And even then, I didn't really think. Like, I was not, just seriously? not really. Honestly, honestly, not really. Like I didn't. I thought you had to be so special to get into the first team. Like I'd seen Fabregas do it and. When he was 16, I was 15. I thought yeah. I, I was nowhere near that. And I suppose it's like anything, you don't know until you do it. And then the next preseason, I went with the first team and I'd done really well. And I didn't feel like it was that difficult. Wow. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was strange. It was, I was just left school and then I was, you know, I was traveling to Austria with the first team. And yeah, I mean, I went from there. And I, yeah, I got selected to play in the uh, in the Carling Cup that year, yeah. which I loved every minute. I knew, always knew that Arsenal would give you a chance if you were if you were around it and you were training well, and he did. That's incredible. But when you made your Premier League debut at 16, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Uh, again, it, it just happened so quick. Like I'd gone from playing in the youth team to being at school to leaving school, having a pre-season with the first team, and only because. It was uh, it was 2008. There was a Euros, yeah. so like your Fabregas, Van Persie, a lot of players were away. So like we were there just to make the numbers up, and um, and then I done well, and I got. I, then most days I was training with the first team, and yeah, you know what? As well, it was a uh, Blackburn away, and I'd been on the bench. Yeah. For it must have been like the fourth game of that season, and I'd been on the bench for all the four games, and I was getting angry because I weren't playing. <laughs> yeah. I was getting angry, <laughs> thinking I just want to play. That's cool. Yeah. Come on, Jack, get a good one off. That's a shot. So Sally, go on. That works. Shot, mate. Well, let's see if Take I can that. do the same. I've got a seven as well, Jack. Got to get it over the bunks. Oh, oh that's I like right that. at it. Like that. That was nice. That was smooth. Come on. Very yeah, smooth. boy. Jack, you mentioned uh, the legend Arsene Wenger there. Uh, how good was he for you? Hey, he was. He was unbelievable. Like everyone says it, but he was actually like. A father figure for me. Yeah. Like, I know it sounds cheesy or whatever, but he actually was. Because he, he, from a young age, like 16, he put me in the dressing room. He like he looked after me in terms of what I did in training, the games I played with the reserves. Like he would let me play some and not, and then miss a few. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and as well, like, with the injuries I had, like he always always had faith in me when I came back and he would respect the time that it took for me to come back as well. Yeah. What was he like um, away from football? I've heard he was like quite a funny bloke. But he was, you know, like, he wouldn't be the type to, like if we were traveling, he wouldn't come and sit with us and like have banter, <laughs> but he would drop like one-liners. Oh, yeah. And he would laugh at his own jokes as well, which, is, which made it even funnier. <laughs> come on, Arsene. He was brilliant. What sort of stuff is he saying then? Like, I don't know, like he just dropped one-liners, like yeah. we'd be chatting away and then like you, the boss would just come in and like with his voice, his voice was smooth as well, wasn't it? And he would just, voice yeah, awesome. yeah, he would just drop one-liners and yeah, brilliant. What's your best Arsene Wenger voice? Oh. Mine is uh, like this, uh, Jack. You uh, know what? Right. You are a fantastic player. That's good. It's right, isn't it? In the eyes as well. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, once, right, we, uh, it was after we won the World, uh, not World Cup, Jesus, I wish, we were, the first FA Cup, yeah, 2014, yeah, and uh, mate, we went mad. We went out after. We went uh, the next day. We were on the bus on the parade. We carried on, and then after the boss, the boss left. Yeah, and uh, we were we were on the bus from the stadium going back to the training ground to get our to get our stuff and then leave. And uh, no, the boss went on the on the bus, so I went down to the front of the bus, and uh, I pretended to be Arson. And I was talking about like, yes, be be good. We have a preseason game coming up. 
<laughs> like, it was hilarious. Jason. That's good, wasn't it? Yeah. Mate, it took years of practice. <laughs> Jack Wilshire with the Arsene Wenger. Come on, mate. Chip. Oh. Get it dancing. Oh, no. Nice. Long. Nothing wrong with Sit. that, mate. Sit. Nothing wrong with that. Shot, mate. Yes, Jack. Yeah, it's all right. I'll Tarp take that, up, mate. mate. Tarp up. Jack's got one dancing. Oh, oh that's in. not enough, not enough. Nah, that's, that's going to roll. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> you don't play off 16, I know it. What a <laughs> shot. Come on. Oh, you can't beat a good golf shot. Nice, no, Steve. Ah, oh, tears, mate. You know what? Someone once said to me, if you can putt and yeah. chip, you get your handicap down. And I can't putt. It's the most important, isn't it, the putt? Yeah. You, you neglect it a bit, didn't you? It's big time. I've been practicing every shot apart from putting anyway. Yeah. Go on, mate. Go on. That's got Go a on. chance. That's... Go on. Go on. <laughs> he hasn't on. neglected his putting. Pressure's on. In for five. Great start, Jack. Right. Is that a gimme? Yeah, of course it is. You'll put it in there, don't you? Oh, yeah. What a putt. <sighs> Come on, tubes. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's that bloody range. <laughs> All square on the four-hole challenge. I'm loving this. Right, nil-nil or one-all on the four-hole challenge. Great putt from Jack. Terrible putt from me. Should be all right, it's gone right again. Ah. Lovely swing though, wasn't it? It's all right, I'm getting Smooth. there, man. I'm getting better. So Sally, go on, get up. So Jack, as we said on the uh, first hole, you, everyone knew about you, you know, everyone was talking about Jack Wilshire. Uh, rightfully so, because you were double-double decent. But as a young kid, is that quite a lot of pressure? Everyone going, he's going to be this, he's going to be that, he's unbelievable. You know what, it weren't when I was really young, because at that age I used to just literally turn up and play. Um, and then after a year in the first year when I had a good year, a little bit because then I was injured. And, you know, I've heard someone say it before and it's so true. You get, you become a better player when you're injured in terms of, well, especially when you're English in the media and, you know, everyone says, oh, England need Jack back and it puts pressure on you. Yeah. So, I wouldn't say like, I never let the pressure get on top of me, but I did feel it at times coming back from injury, there was a little bit, a little bit of pressure on me to get back quick and get back well. And do you think that made you rush back? Like mm. with the injury, you know what? I, talking about Arsene again, he was always good at, yeah. at that. Like he would, he knew that it would take me time. He'd let me play a few reserve games and then like bring me off the bench and, and let me build up over time. Because the thing with me was, I never had like a four or five week injury. It was always like three or four months. Yeah. So it took a little bit longer to come back. But it's like, did that piss you off? Like the media, you know, it's not your fault that you've got injured. Mm. And then people are going, oh, Jack's injured again. It's just. It's, yeah. it's pathetic, really, isn't it? Yeah, well, I think it, it probably did me off in the early days, but then I just used to take the notice of it because I knew that it, it wasn't my fault. It was an, an impact injury or, you know, I was still doing the right things, looking after myself. It's just football and that. And the way I play as well. Yeah. I mean, I like, was never the quickest. So I used to, like, get the ball and try and, like, get close to a player to beat him. Right. And that opened yourself so, up to injuries, yeah. Eyes, yeah. Fair enough. Right, here, good one, matey. Come on, mate. Oh, yes! That's the one, isn't it? 
He's happy with that. <laughs> He's happy with that. What a shot. Great shot, mate. Right, I'm going to lay up as well, Jack. I don't think I've got the uh, minerals got to get over. Seven. seven. We love a seven, don't we? Yeah. Come on, nice and steady. Yeah, nice. Down with you. And then, uh, Jack, to add to the hype, uh, you churned out possibly one of the greatest ever performances against Barcelona. Uh, talk to me about that night, mate. Unbelievable, Jeff. <laughs> you know what? I didn't even know that I played. I didn't think I played that well. I mean, really? Not straight away. Like, but he, look, mate. To be honest with you, the second half I, play, I did play well. But the first half, I mean, I did alright. But we didn't have the ball. We were playing against that Barcelona team. You know, Messi, Busquets, Xavi, Iniesta. Like, and I remember when the draw, we got drawn against them. And I remember like the team just ah, oh, because they played them, they played them the year before, yeah. and they got battered. But I think because I, I I was so young and never been involved, that helped me. Because I didn't think like that. I just thought right, I'm gonna need to play well while playing against them, but we can beat them. And yeah, I just went out and and fought like that really. Like, I mean, I remember at one point thinking right, I'm gonna have to like really step up and get into someone here in midfield. And it was one tackle. And I won the ball, it was a good tackle, won the ball and we got on the attack and that's what I like, lifted everyone. And the crowd that night as well, tubes. Yeah, mate. Unbelievable. It was unreal. Like, they, they, they lifted us in We should have won the second league as well. But What did those players say to you afterwards? What, did my players? No. Did any of the Barcelona oh, yeah, players come up to you? They were fuming. Busquets was fuming with me. Like, when, I was that, when I was young, I used to like give it at that age. Like, yeah. On the pitch, I used to let them have it. And I remember with him, like, to be honest with you, the other two, Xavi and Iniesta, I didn't because I, I just had too much respect for them. But yeah. remember Busquets, do you remember back in the day when he used to like dive around and yeah. great player, but he used to make the most out of the tackles. And I remember like having a little bit with him and he was fuming with me. Fuming. <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying to him? I was just like, you know, like he used to do, he was the best at it. Like he'd get in front of you and he'd go down and like scream and get a foul, which, you know, fair play to him, he got the foul. And I was just saying to him like, come on, mate, get up. And he was like, who are you talking to? Like, who, who are you? <laughs> I'm like Jack Wilshire and I'm running this game. <laughs> <laughs> That's what, what was he like, proper? Did he sort of, afterwards, was it all good though, yeah? Oh. Yeah. Now, I mean, the second leg was, was still a little bit, a little bit awkward between us. Uh, but you know what? Like, I think, I mean, I've heard Xavi say some things since. I think he... He, they understood. They've, they've been in the game for years. They're the best, and they knew what it, what it took to get to the top. And in them games where there's so much like lying on it, and especially the second leg. Do you remember the second leg? Yeah. When Van Persie got sent off, it was ridiculous. And yeah, it was. It was a lot of tension in that game. But um, I, you know what? I'm happy with the first leg performance. But we should have beat him. If we had beat him, I think we could have went on and had a right go. Gone right. Stay there. Oh, that's nice. It's with me. Here we go. You don't want to be going over the back here, do you? No, and the green, like you said, the greens are rapid. Not even right. Just try and land it just on that top of that ridge. <laughs> Go on. Oh, get up. Do you know what? It'll work. It's, it does it, it works. It'll work with that. Not wrong with that. Come on, tube, show me how it's done. Oh my god, that's your game chipping, isn't it? Come on. That is Come beautiful. on. Keep going. Oh what the <laughs> shot. Come on, Jack. Roll it up like the last putt. Amy, go on, come on, come round, go on. Take that, take that. Cheers, mate. Six. Jack to tie to make it two two. Come on, mate. Probably straight. Come on, mate.
It's in! Get in. What's it called? All square. Oh, tube, that's... <laughs> Look at that. What a shot. Mate. Oh, that could be wet. No. It's a big shot, that. Nah, you'll be safe there. You reckon? All good. All good. Jack, everyone I spoke to um, that has played with you, been in the changing room with you, say you, you're proper funny. Uh, they're one of the jokers in the changing room. Uh, one of my favourite clips is the, uh, the deck rice. <laughs> Way out the old... Uh... Deck <laughs> How long was that planned for? Or was that just spur of the moment? Spur of the moment. Yeah. I said to the kit man, I said, get that. It was just after, you remember when Mason Mount scared him and he yeah, like, yeah. screamed twice at the, at the camera. How weird is that clip, by the way? That's oh, mad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I, I just, I remember saying to the kit man, just uh, tell Deck to come in here. I need to, uh, you need him to sign something. So he did, and I just thought, I'm going to get in the, uh, not many people could fit in that washing machine, by the way, but one of them. <laughs> Say, I got some him. skill. Yeah, I got him. It was nice. <laughs> it was brilliant. But who's the biggest joker you've played with throughout your career? Um, Deck's up there. Yeah. Like Deck loves banter. Like Deck is one of them who can be funny, funny banter, banter, and as soon as like 1.30 on a Saturday comes, bang, he's switched on. Yeah. Um, so he's up there. How good is he gonna be? Oh, he's unreal, mate. Honestly, like for someone his age, play it as many games as he has. Arguably the first name on the team sheet for England. Yeah, he could, mate, he's, he's good. He can be top, top. Well, yeah. he is top, top, but he could even be better. Because wasn't the um, the uh, banter at West Ham quite brutal? Yeah. I remember one of the players, I can't name it, because we had to take it out of soccer aim interview, was like, people would be in each other's yeah. shoes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I know what you mean. <laughs> um, you know what? As well, that speaks volumes of deck because to be in that environment at a young age, like, and just embrace it, yeah, it's, a good, it's a great place. You know, I had a great time there. Like, great lads, I've got friends for life. And the, yeah, the band was, it was brutal. Yeah. Brutal. But did, was it annoying because that was, the, you know, the club you supported? Mm. You didn't really get given a chance, yeah. did you? No, you know what? Like, it was annoying that it didn't work out. And I had a few, a few injuries, a few issues. But, Listen, I never regret it. As you said, I grew up supporting them. It was my dream to play for them. Yeah. If someone would have told me at 10 years old you'll play one game for West Ham, I would have snapped their hand off. So I had a great time like, off the pitch, on the pitch, didn't go to plan, but it's one of them things, I suppose. Absolutely. And then back to the biggest choker, who do you reckon it was? Deck's up um, there. Um, Yeah, Deck. Snods, obviously, everyone says Snods, but he is, he's hilarious. Nobs as well, for someone who, like, can can have the role of being a captain, being a leader, to then being like a one of the funniest guys in the in the dressing room. He's up there. Um, trying to think back to the Arsenal days. You know what? Kieran Gibbs was funny in, in Kieran Gibbs. Yeah. yeah. Like he, he's very he's intelligent. He's got that intelligent banner. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Like where he hits you and you're like, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, Kieran. Yeah. Where's that come um, from? Rob Holding was funny. Yeah. Yeah. What was the name of the West Ham? You, you had a group at West Ham. What was it I called? I can't repeat it now, what it's called. No, they it was told me. a Group of Honesty. Group of Honesty. It's now it. been changed to Group of Lying something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right, got you. Love it. Right, you're all right, I can see you. I'm over there. Like we just said, Jack, we literally are neck and neck. You're here on the right, I'm there on the left. Come on, get it dancing. Oh, I finned it. Oh. 
Should be all right though. Yeah. Should be all right. Do you know what? I find it really hard when, when a shot is on an, a slope. Yeah, yeah, it's hard. I though. don't know. Someone says you should aim more because you'd naturally come round, don't you? See, but so I people say, what, aim? Aim more there, yeah. But when there's water there. Is that right? Can you let pressure. us know down below? Uh, do you aim more right off a slope? Because uh, I. It does I'll make just, sense, doesn't it? But it does, but. When there's water there, you don't want to be aiming at that. Yeah, let case. us know. Cheers. Come on. We're on a slope again, Jack. So I'm I'm just I'm not sure what to do. It's a nice hit, it's bunker. Oh no. Oh, you like the sound? Lewis Bunk. <laughs> <laughs> do you like the sand? No, I hate the sand. <laughs> Advantage Jack. So Jack, um, yeah, we've, we've mentioned the injuries, which you must be sick and tired of talking about. But you nearly gave up football, didn't you? Mm. Because of your little little boy Archie. Um, how, how could you? He wasn't very well at the time. But how could you concentrate, let alone train? Well, I couldn't. It's, yeah. it's just it's impossible. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, no, it was. It was. It was a strange time because all I'd known is growing up, like everyone, everyone who has kids would say it. Um, all you, when you grow up, you're selfish, aren't you? Like you just think about yourself, and then all of a sudden you get a baby who comes into the world, and it like changes your life completely. And all you want to do is protect them. And then when they get ill, it's like you almost like blame yourself. It was, it was a strange time, but mate, talking about Arson again, he was unreal, honestly. Like it I, sounds like he really was a father. Yeah, he was. Yeah. He was, and then. Like he would give me time off. I had to go over to um, Texas to see a doctor, and it was like this was. I was fit. I'd only been fit for a couple of weeks, and the uh, semi-final with the FA Cup, the first FA Cup, 2014 was coming up. And it was like 10 days before, and I had to go over to see this doctor. I said to him, "Look, boss, I need to go over here. I'll be there for three days." And he was like, "Yeah, no problem. You have to go. It's your son." I was like, "I know, but I don't want it to affect uh, your decision." Uh, regarding the FA Cup, like, I want to be there. I, I know I'm not going to play, but I said, I don't want to be on the bench. And he was like, Jack, you're there. Just go and enjoy it. It was unreal. Such a nice, he yeah. sounds like a real oh, top, top guy. guy. Top guy. But uh, more importantly, Archie's all good yeah, now. He's, he's good, all... thanks, mate. He's yeah. 10, yeah. He's, he's nearly my height. <laughs> <laughs> Archie, how you doing? Mate. <laughs> right. Commit, commit. Nervous. No, oh, well out. It's out. Oh, come on. We are literally neck yeah. and neck, mate. Oh. Come on, mate. Giving it some for a par. Oh, I, got oh. Par. I, can't, I can't even give you that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, God. That is what you call a knee trembler. A knee trembler 3000. It'll be, it'll be aggressive with these. Confident. Oh my God. I that was in. Oh Jesus Christ. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. It's a straight putt. It's a straight putt. It's a straight putt. Straight putt. Oh, yes. oh, nice. <laughs> no, one up. One, one to up, play. One to play. What a game. Come on, tubes. Oh, it's gone high. Yeah, it's all right. It's, it's gone high. I'll take that. 
it's in the mid. Yeah, it's not. You take that. <laughs> high bomb. You take that with it's... a pitching wedge. <laughs> it's a high bomb. <laughs> Come on, pal. This needs to be good. It needs to be good, and I'll tell you what. Yeah, that's all right up there. That's good. There's a bunker there. Get out of there. Nah, that's a shot, Jack. Tell you what, you do hit it, didn't you? Uh, Jack, you're um, absolutely loved by Arsenal fans because of what you did on the pitch, uh, which is unbelievable. But they also uh, appreciated you absolutely giving it to Spurs after you won the FA Cup. Um, do you look back at that and go, what was I doing? Or do you look back at that and go, get in there. <laughs> You know what? My mum's side of the family, they're all Tottenham. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, all Tottenham. And I grew up getting so much stick. So, no, I don't regret it. <laughs> Simple as that. Yeah. But you, you got done for that, didn't you? Yeah, I did. You know, probably the second time. The first time was funny and banter. Um, and then I got a letter from the FA saying, listen, right, <laughs> enough's, enough's enough. enough. Don't do it again. And of course, next year comes around, we win it. <laughs> I'm there again, so yeah, I got in trouble. But because well, I don't really, sometimes I don't understand. Like a Spurs fan, when you did that, walking down the street, are they like you absolutely? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they are. I've got a lot of, right. a lot of that. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh. Um, yeah. Not not like nothing mad. No. And listen. I can, I, I can accept that, that's fine, that's banter. I think that's part and parcel of football. Yeah. As long as they don't cross the line and they're not aggressive with it. No, yeah. that's what I mean, they weren't yeah. like, oh, no, you no, can't no. be saying that you yet. No, no, no. no. So it's just like, you, oh, you, yeah. you yeah. sort of thing. Yeah, you yeah. Perfect then, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, there's my pitching wedge shot. That's all right though, tubes. Right, here's my ball. And if you can uh, see up there, <laughs> is Jack's about 70 yards in front. Absolute bomb. <laughs> right, got out the seven again. Come on. All right, nice. Oh no. That'll nah, kick left. Oh no, it oh, won't. Should, should be all right there. Yeah, you'll be all right. Sounded nice, it's gone right again. It was a nice swing. Right, come on, Jack's got the hybrid out. I, can you use those things? Well, let's find Dude, out. I'm usually I, normally good with it. I mate. can't but use I, it I one bit. That. Oh my goodness, what That's a right, strike. What a bloody strike. Come on, get up there. Mate. So to answer your question, yes, Jack Wilshire can use a hybrid. <laughs> Look at the smile on the boat race. Buzzing. <laughs> Jack, best player you played with, best player you played against. Um, best player I played with, there's a few. Like, so hard just to name one. You know, I, I played with Ozil, Arsenal, Fabregas, Van Persie. But the one that I enjoyed playing with the most at Arsenal on like a regular basis, week, weekly. Probably Cazorla. Santi Cazorla. Santi Cazorla, and what a guy, what a player. He used to take corners with both feet. Mate, it was he? a joke, honestly. You were on, honestly, you could not tell. From the first day he came in, you couldn't tell what foot he was. That's, a, that's a rare, isn't it? Proper rare, that. I've never seen anything like it before. No. And top guy as well, yeah? Yeah, top guy, and he was funny, like, he tried his best to have banter in English. He was a great guy. <laughs> yeah, he was a great guy. It's good when the, the, the foreigners come over and they, they try to get yeah, involved yeah. and stuff like that. To be it, fair, can't, yeah. it can't be easy, can it? To be fair, I'd say 98% of the foreigners that I played with all spoke good English and you could hold a conversation with them. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Best player I played against. <sighs> played against Messi, which obviously is for me, the greatest player of all time. Yeah, he's not bad, is he? But I only played against him once, twice. What's that like? Yeah, that was unreal, mate. That was uh, that was unreal. It was, it was quite scary actually in the tunnel. You can imagine. Like this is a player who I've worshipped. Everyone was worshipped. Yeah. And uh, he's standing next to you in the tunnel. Like, and as well, he's like he had that sort of demeanour about him where he just didn't look bothered. Do you know what I mean, he's standing there in the tunnel. Then he'd go out there and absolutely rip it up. Um, so he, he obviously, but the one I played against, 
consistently, and I used to hate playing against, was um, Dembele from Tottenham. Oh, what a player! Uh, mate, but we, we used to do well. We still do. We were kind of teammates on soccer, and when he was at Spurs, you say best player, and without Everyone's like there, yeah, yeah, just go Dembele straight yeah. away. Like, mate, he had everything. He was strong, quick, skillful. He had that nasty side to his game. A few times, like a few games where I've had a little bit with him, and he's just left a bit on me, and like not even cared. He was so strong. Like he would almost like show you the ball. Do you know what I mean? Like if, if you're me, he'd like yeah. show me the ball to get it, and then just go no. Nope. <laughs> get away! <laughs> get away! Get away. <laughs> really, yeah, Dembele, yeah. Yeah. And what's next for you, Jack? Because you're still young, and you've still got loads and loads to offer. What's going on, pal? Um, I don't know. To be honest, tubes. Uh, I'm obviously free man. I had a great time at Bournemouth. I think yeah. it was a a great move. Um. One, because I love the club and the club loved me, so yeah. uh, we had a, a good connection. It was just nice to be back and get some games under my belt. But now, mate, I'm free, so I don't know. Like, we're, what, a week, ten days away from teams going back to pre-season, so probably unrealistic to think that I'd get a team in that time, so I can just control the things I can control, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I can do my own pre-season, I can make sure I'm fit, I'm healthy, and then just wait, mate, till the right opportunity comes up. Cool, man. Well, best of luck. Cheers, Tubes. Let's get you back playing, my friend. Thanks, mate. Right, par five, Jack. This is your third shot. If you get it dancing, you know what you're putting for, don't you? Potentially. <laughs> oh, I'd love to do it, Tubes. I can't lie. Jack Wilsh are doing the birdie dance. Would be one of the highlights of golf life, so what come on, Deck stick do? it. Huh? Deck. Deck didn't get birdie, but he was dancing around. Deck right crossed the par three challenge oh, and yeah. then did the Kevin Nolan funky, oh, funky yeah. chicken around the green. With his top off. <laughs> oh, what guy. And he was so confident, yeah, when he set the forfeit. He said it because he thought, oh, I've got this in the yeah. bag. I've pinged one, it's hit off like a patio or something and bounced back on. And he was, oh, What did you get, par? Uh, I parred it mm. and he funky chickened it. Brilliant. It's thing of beauty. Right, Come on. Oh, he's <laughs> fatted it. <laughs> there ain't no birdie dance going on unless I chip that, mate. <laughs> no birdie oh, dance. Oh, my head came up. <laughs> the pressure got to him. The birdie dance pressure. Right, the chipping game's been all right today. But this is a tough one. Tell you what, that ain't bad. Oh, yeah, nice. Take that. Come on, pal. Go on, get up. Do you know what? Oh, it's that's an F. That's a great effort, though, mate. Unfortunate bounce. Take that. that way. You've got to be happy today, where you played. Yeah, I am, to be fair. Final question, Jack, on the four-hole challenge. It's a question I ask everyone. If you could have a caddy mm. for the day, anyone past or present, any walk of life, who would it be? And why? Apart from Tiger Woods. Apart from Tiger Woods. <laughs> you do watch the channel, yeah, don't you? I actually do. I'm buzzing about that. Um, you know what? Having watched the channel a lot, I always think about this. And it's not because I like him. I don't not like him. Um, but I'd just love to be in his company and see what he's really like. It's Donald Trump. Donald Trump? Yeah. Can you imagine playing around with Donald? <laughs> <laughs> It'd be unreal. He's good. I played his course as well in yeah. Dubai and it was unreal, mate. It was unreal. I just loved Jack it. Jack and Donald. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Me and Donald. I'd love to. Fair enough. I've Donald heard he's quite Trump. good as well. Do you think I've, I've seen him? I've seen him hit some shots. He looks absolutely woeful. Yeah, but he's old, isn't he? I've heard he's good. <laughs> For a par. Oh, he's dragged it again. No, take but that away, mate. Four bogeys. Oh, Do you know what, Jack? No, I'll take that. Yeah. Four bogeys. That's good. Jack Wilshire to putt to draw Come the four hole challenge. Come on, mate.
is hard. Get in. Oh! No! Oh, I've lost it, innit? it? <laughs> Mate, what a game. Put it out. Put it out. He wants to put it out. He's got the line anyway. Oh, it's like it's deadly from that range, mate. Thank you so, so much, mate. I really appreciate you doing it, mate. Uh, top man. Uh, I win by one. Uh, and thanks again to Function 18 for sponsoring this video. Uh, link is down below. Check them out, guys. Seriously, seriously good website. Jack Wilshire, what a man. Four. <laughs>